Let's extend our hands over to <laughs> Father in heaven, we thank you for the way you have blessed this couple, your son and your daughter. Thank you, Lord God, that they have 32 years of your grace, your abundance, your love. Thank you. We are so grateful, Lord. So grateful. We thank you for the love that you've shared these 32 years. We thank you for sustaining them through all the difficulties of those 32 years. We thank you for all the joys, the victories they've experienced these 32 years. And Father, right now we pray in the same way that you've blessed them before, double, triple the blessings that will come in their life. May their future be brighter than their past. Amen. And continue to use them in a mighty way to bless the world. May this marriage be a fountain of life for so many other people. Thank you, Father, that you will increase their love, their joy, and their peace. And bless their children. Bless their entire family, all their loved ones. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm giving everything I got God knows I know it's not a lie I'm headed somewhere but I don't know where just yet I still got something left to prove Prove that there's nothing I won't do Do what it takes so I can bring you back again Oh my Always been real. This is a beautiful morning. We just celebrated Mass, and here we are. Look at this. Such a great and awesome day. It's incredible <laughs> here in Fatima. So we were, we just had celebrated mass, and then after that, we're gonna have breakfast, and then it's off we go. We ride the bus, we journey. You know, the pilgrimage is really like a micro picture of what life is all about. Life is a journey. Now this pilgrimage that we're taking. It's gonna end up in Rome. That's the ultimate destination. Like, yeah, of course, of course, it's gotta be Rome. But think about it. Think about it. Every step of the journey, you know, first step, Fatima. Of course, before that, Lisbon, and then we go to Santarém, and then we go to Panama, and then we, you know, later on, we're gonna go to Salamanca, we're gonna go to Burgos, on and on, Barcelona. Um, every step. You, you, you need to enjoy that journey. So I'm, I'm here again and I'm saying, giving you the same message, but I won't be tired of, of giving you this message. That you've got to enjoy, not, not tolerate, no, no. You've got to enjoy and celebrate every step of your journey. You, you don't say, I'm going to be happy only if I reach Rome. No, you've got to enjoy every step. Even the bus trip, even the five hour bus trip. You know, being able to enjoy that and celebrate that. Uh, there are times in your life where it's all about waiting. There are times in your life where it's, it's all about, you know, sitting down and doing nothing and, because you can't do anything. But, you know, right. <laughs> uh, but that's the key to be able to celebrate the goodness that God, how do you do it? How, okay, Bo, I'm, I'm not going to tolerate, I'm going to celebrate. How? Here's how. Open your eyes and see the blessings of God in every step of your journey. I usually have two candles. One is uh, for for uh, my small family, 
but I have a bigger family. So that's for Light of Jesus family, that's for the Truly Rich Club, that's for Catholic Filipino Academy, that's for all those who, who read and watch and listen to me and people I impact and influence through my message. So I pray for you, I pray for every one of your needs, every single dream that you have in your life. Here in Salamanca, Spain. Wow. We came from Fatima. We traveled for, I don't know, five hours. And uh, went to this beautiful place. This is uh, Plaza Mayor, uh, the main plaza of the city of Salamanca. It's so beautiful, amazing, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now we're gonna look for it rest of the I love, you know, I don't know about you, but I love al fresco. Like all these chairs, uh, restaurants, and uh, you can eat. Under uh, the blue sky. It's gorgeous. Just beautiful. We celebrate Philip and Risa's wedding anniversary. We give you honor and we give you praise. I'm walking around in Salamanca and I'm gonna switch the camera and let you see how pretty this place is. There you have it. There's this old feel to this place. Look at those buildings. Amazing. You know when I when I think about life, it's really about the history. If that place is old, if that place has history, it is so rich and beautiful. It's something that, you know, if you have a new thing, whatever that thing is, new place, new building, and, and it, there's no history, it's nice, but it lacks character. And it lacks a story. And, and we're, we're a people who love stories. And, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, so I, I think in terms of marketing, and uh, this is very important that your product must have story. If your product is just nice and does not have any story, uh, it, it lacks something. It really does. And uh, anyway, sorry for that little entrepreneur instinct. Fast soon they'll find out